You are about to be fixed. <laughs> Physics Fixed. Better than real. Where each brief episode brings insight you've never had before, no matter how many letters follow your name. If you know enough physics to see its gaps, you'll find many fixed in this series. It's Occam's Razor in the hands of Jack the Ripper. This time, fixed is about the ambiguity of time. Time dilation will be addressed and, of course, simplified, but that's not the most fundamental issue to be fixed. In Episode 1, interval time coordinates were introduced as a Euclidean alternative to conventional space-time. The x, y, and z interval coordinates are invariant, while aspects of relativity are preserved in the time coordinate. Interval separations are the same for all inertial observers, but the time coordinate applies only to observers at rest in that coordinate frame. With four dimensions, one might reasonably ask if there is an invariant time. To answer, fixed makes a distinction you might never have. Consider this limiting case of moving clocks run slow. A photon arriving in our eye from a distant star will not have aged despite having, from our perspective, spent years in its passage. That we age while light does not implies independent aging and non-aging paths to the future. Independent coordinates are shown at a right angle, allowing that displacement along one coordinate does not necessarily entail displacement along the other. But this is obscured by non-Euclidean spacetime. Speed limit C assures that purely spatial displacement is impossible, as it would be instantaneous. Minkowski's vertical coordinate is elapsed time, or aging, for observers at rest. It then appears that light, with slope 1, ages only about 29% slower. However, Euclidean intuition doesn't apply to non-Euclidean spacetime. By contrast, while interval time coordinates retain a vertical aging coordinate, light, being non-aging, has slope 0, falling on the horizontal axis. A light quantum bypasses indefinite spans of space and aging to achieve future displacement. In the twin paradox, one makes a high-speed round trip only to find the homebound twin is now older. Clearly, the twins aged differently but met again in the same future. Different observers agreeing on the same future defines an invariant or absolute future. Of note, in special relativity, the future is considered absolute future. With a little reflection, you realize the invariant future as that of the universe. Conservation laws demand that all mass energy, regardless of motion, be present in every future. The age of our expanding universe relates to its size, entropy, and background temperature. The rest frame of the universe is that which sees background radiation equally redshifted in all directions. This cosmic frame is not privileged in terms of physical laws. So motion relative to the universe still results in each frame seeing the other's clocks run slow. However, the universe's frame readily serves as a universal reference. It makes little sense to say the universe moves relative to objects contained within it. It's also reasonable to postulate that nothing in the universe is older than the universe. Clocks measure aging. Clearly applicable to biological clocks, it holds for clocks of all kinds. The Lorentz Fitzgerald transforms allow calculation of relative durations and lengths, but it's confusing that special relativity uses opposite terms, contraction and dilation, to indicate essentially the same relations. Fixed prefers the consistency of length contraction and aging contraction. Interval time demonstrates aging contraction quite gracefully. Being Euclidean, it's simply a world line's component on the aging coordinate given by the cosine of their world line angle. This also has the mutuality characteristic of relativity. And length contraction is just a factor of c away. Being invariant, c equals c prime. And we find path traversed per unit of aging in one frame is the same as that of any other. Length and aging vary together. Velocity, as a fraction of c, is a function of world line angle given by sine theta. It's the degree to which a world line is light like. The math was developed earlier for Epstein diagrams, but problems arose in his attempt to retain spatial coordinates. In summary, the word time commonly refers to aging and future displacement, which physics should not confuse. Aging is time experienced on the way to an invariant future. Maximum aging corresponds to minimum velocity and vice versa. Different inertial clocks run mutually slow. Congratulations, you've been fixed. <coughs> Better than real. The next fix brings a big top performance to town with Three Ring Circus. I'll see you there, if you dare. Ha <laughs> ha. Looking Glass Universe reflects quite nicely on conventional physics. 
give it a glance.